there's your Cambridge up there. Alright, I got no blower, no nothing. Let's get things torn apart and see what we got. The belt is tight, but also looks worn. Damper. Have to get that off. So damper's closed. There's all your typical limits and everything else inside. So floor's not gonna run, the heat's not gonna fire until that opens. There's your Selectra. High limit. Yeah, it's our Selectra temp. This old guy's seen better days, but I don't see anything majorly wrong with the blower. You got some bearing noise. All right, let's get a damper open, get the blower running. I'll bet the heat probably fires. And check our high limit. Looks like it is open. He's set. Now here it go. Yeah. Burner fired immediately. 226 degrees. No wonder we're tripping a limit. Why? It's like maybe it just backed off a little bit. Everything else looks pretty good. We're doing 160. So let's let it run for a little bit. Probably gonna want a new belt. It'll tell us in the book exactly what temperature, but usually it's 160 to 180 depending on the model. Be modulating okay. Let's let it run for a little bit. Then. Make sure nothing else weird happens. We're at 5.4, 5.5 amps. I gotta check to see what the motor's rated. The bearings are going out on the thing. Discharge temperature stabilized. Switch to the high limit temp sensor. Uh, a range of 140 to 160 with the discharge temp set to 160. So, I mean, we're right there where we're supposed to be. The motor says it's 6.2 amps. I showed my other probe in more of the supplier. This is my one that's in the high limit. I'm maintaining temperature. We're, uh, everything looks good. So the question is, why did it trip the high limit? Yeah, 1121. Actually, it wasn't that long ago. You can see the wear on the old belt too. I need to probably verify that it's the correct belt. Somebody comes out and throws a different size belt on there, you throw everything off. And even though it's been replaced, it could have been the wrong size belt initially and somebody didn't think about that and just threw a belt on it. I just want to get a better look at everything. You can see that belt. It looks aligned pretty well, it's just loose. And then that's pretty worn. I mean, I can feel. I don't have any play in the bearings. It's just the noise. I think we're gonna be okay there. I'm wondering if this belt's not the wrong size. It sits down in there awful far too. There's the 4L500. I don't know that I've ever, I don't know that I've ever seen one this small. So maybe the 4L500's normal, but I don't, uh, I've never seen a 4L on one of these things. I made an executive decision. We're gonna use an A48. It's still running about normal. So we got a new A48 and a one VP50. Screwed that up. That thing didn't budge. I thought it was gonna move. We're gonna have to get some oil on it. It did not move an inch and just snapped that pulley. I mean, it's worn, you can tell. Damn it, man. I'm not using a big crescent wrench either. That's an eight inch wrench. That thing's not budging. Kind of expected it to come off because there's no shaft to clean, you know, on the end. So um, I'm just trying to be careful now because I, I don't have a good grip on the inside of that pulley where I'm at. It really wanted to be on that where I was. And then we broke. Worst case scenario, I'm gonna have to unwire it, unbolt it, take it down. I'm gonna do all that. At that point, I 
wish I would have just got the damn motor, but that's where I'm at. I was trying to save them a buck because the amp draw was okay on the motor. Got a little bit of tension on that thing. It ain't moving. Last resort. I'm gonna heat it up and see if it won't pop. And I don't want to make this any worse, and I don't really want to have to take this motor out of here. I should have thrown a belt on it like the last guy did and ran. It would have worked for another few months. This is what you get for going above and beyond sometimes, so. That thing ain't budging. Oh, fucking Jake and Ted playing games with their rusted pulleys. I thought it was going to come out of here pretty easy. Apparently, I was wrong. But it's broke now, so it's got to come off. Good lord, that was a pain in the ass. I finally got it off. I had to take and chop. We cut, cut the the pulley itself off and just left the hub and then I was able to grab the hub finally and break it loose. So we're going to get the, the blower locked back down make sure we're aligned well and then we're going to get a new A48 in there. Finally. Uh, I'm pretty tight. I'm happy with it. The A48 should be equivalent to that 4L500. We are 6.2 and the service factor, or safety factor, whatever the hell you want to call it, is 6.8. You have to adjust that new pulley. Six amps. There we go. I could be touching the metal too. That's on my high limit. This is on. This is my supplier. And there it goes back and down. I'm gonna turn the burner back off. I'm gonna start cleaning some of my stuff up. And we're gonna let that guy run. So I'm kinda happy with that. As long as it doesn't creep up, I mean, the bearings are, it kinda is what it is. The motor's gonna die eventually, they know that, but. I'm not slipping. I might have a little wobble on the bottom, but for the most part, I'm pretty happy with it. All right, so we've had it running for a little while now. We're maintaining right about that 155, 160 mark. The burner's modulating. Everything looks good. The amp draw is right at six amps. It actually dropped a little bit. So I'm happy with all this. This thing's gonna work. We got, we warned them about the motor. We're gonna, I, the last thing I need to do is go make sure I get a tag and get it in here with all this information that we changed the pulley and the belt. Now we should keep from wearing our belt out so quickly with the new pulley. We will leave the old worn belt in there. Like I said, tag everything, date everything. That way there's no question for the next guy. I tell him to run this thing till it dies, till the motor dies, it'll be all right. It'll start tripping that overload most likely. And once it starts tripping the overload, then we'll have to change the motor, but she lives to fight another day. I'm just cycling the burner a few more times here, local. Just making sure everything looks as normal as possible. I'm not sure if the high limit is, you see it's backing off now. I'm not sure if the high limit's 200. Could be 225, I don't know. I mean, it's supposed to be 160. Well, 150 to 160, supply temp, that's normal. But on that initial fire, it gets a little warm there. Uh, I have to check on the actual temp that that should trip at. The uh, limit could be getting weak too, and maybe that on the initial fire up, it tripped at some point. But as far as the control goes, the burner's modulating and backing off seems like it's doing what it's supposed to i'm happy with it it's got a new belt now new pulley we ought to last a little longer than four months on our belt and we'll go from there leave trade better than you found it leave leave the leave the trade better than you is that what i said i don't know what the fuck i said now leave trade better than you found it i'll see y'all next time